epic in a word. Last week, we left off on our overnight train from Vienna to Berlin. I'll link it here so you can see the full recap and review of our experience. We uh, dropped off our stuff at our little apartment reception area. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to tour around. I think we're going to check out the Brandenburg Gate. I think we're in such a good location. So Sounds like we are. I think so. You did your work well. Did my due diligence. And I even booked it somewhat recently, remember? Because I had to like change our schedule. I know. So we got lucky with this place, I think. But we'll like know once we actually see the Yeah, exactly. Apartment. I'm so German. It's fun Shelby's to be here. very excited to be in the land of our forefathers. I just like feel comfortable, right? Away. I think there's like some sort of protest for something or other. Maybe, but there's so many flags. Hey, there's the US Embassy, the French Embassy. Right next to the gate, not as close as the U.S. Embassy. But that is pretty impressive. I don't know what the historical significance of this gate is though. And that's kind of a problem. I wonder what kind of demonstration is going on here. A very helpful map. We are enjoying the beauty of the Grosser Tiergarten Berlin. I hope I'm saying that right. I think we're heading towards a palace of some sort, but the Tiergarten is like so massive there. It's so pretty and I feel like a lot I'm sure this would be nice during the summer, but this just feels like the perfect time to be here with all the leaves falling. <laughs> I just think it's it so would cool. be really nice during the summer, I'm sure. Yes. Because the I, nice grass and nice and warm, people now, having picnics. They're probably this would probably be a great place to like set out a picnic blanket during the summer. We uh, unintentionally saw most of the tier garden. And we kind of thought it was just going to be a short little jaunt through jaunt. the park, and no, nope, we saw all the monuments. <laughs> it's just very relaxing, especially since we've been traveling most of like yesterday and today. So I'm excited yeah. to go to our place soon, take a shower, relax a bit. And then we're walking back to a cafe now that'll take like 45 minutes, but it's so nice out. We've reached our food destination. Looks good. Looks good. First food experience. Ready to dig in. We're back on the road and we're heading to our room. All right, we're going up to our floor. Mm, Excited to be in our room. We have some IKEA. Wow, this is nice. Little tour for you, the bathroom. It's a big kitchen. It's nice. We took a little break. Enjoyed our apartment. Now we are going to the Holocaust Memorial. Come on with us. It was fascinating to learn that the memorial wasn't built with any specific interpretation in mind. It seems like everyone who visits 
interprets its meaning in a different way. There's just a sense of like foreboding and feeling closed off in here. Uh, they want you to kind of interpret. Some people were just saying that when you're in it, like you feel so like apart from the world and so separated because you can't hear anything or see anything or that you can only see like the sky, but you can't like climb up yeah. and get out. I was looking at it from our apartment. It just looked like it was all the same level and I was like, no one's walking through it. And then it's because it slopes down underneath and so all the people become really small. Yeah. If you ever find yourself in Berlin, you should definitely check this place out because it's not only a very interesting art piece, but also a good reminder of history. We're going into the info center. Well, we just finished up at the museum. That was uh, heavy, but super well put together. So well done. You could spend like so much time and it still wouldn't sink in, like just how crazy it was. Yeah. And that it was not that long ago either. Well, now we're gonna move on to happier things and go get some food at a Christmas market. Well, that way we can see a Christmas market and eat all mm -hmm. once. Curry first? I decided to get curry first. Oh, okay. I got a brat. We are getting a slightly later start to the day. We've enjoyed our morning. We're heading to a reservation for lunch. At one of our favorite Sounds restaurants. Very awesome. There's a lot of tours that happen on the street that we're on. But it's such a <laughs> we just passed street. a tour that was in VR. It's just <laughs> it's so just great looking. It's like if that's God, what we're all gonna look like when we're like working in the future, really funny. we're all destined to look very idiotic. Today feels invigorating. It's like mountain weather, cold and crisp but sunny. Oh, yeah. Feels great. Probably the warmest it'll be while we're here, so we should exactly. really soak it up. Taking advantage of the nice weather as long as we have it. Well, we were gonna do this anyway, regardless of the weather. That's true. <laughs> Berlin is one of the only cities that has these little men. There's the Berlin Wall. History will have to wait because we need to make it to our restaurant. I think we might come back later in the afternoon because we'll it's super close. Come back close, after but we lunch. Still have time right now. Apple Maps thinks that you can go through the Berlin Wall still. There's literally just a big wall right there. There's a big there, wall, like, so right cool. they, uh, they don't know. When we were in Paris, we discovered the Big Mama Group food chain. They have restaurants all over Europe and each one has a different name and decor style, but a lot of the same menu items. Their truffle pasta remains one of our favorite meals to this day, so we couldn't resist a chance to experience it again. We also shared the arancini and finished it off with a slice of banoffee pie. That truly was a big feast. A and very you didn't good even think this place was open, silly. And it didn't look open from the outside. Yeah, it actually does look a little quiet <laughs> compared to the inside. Finished our lunch. There's about an hour nice. of light left in the day. We gotta go make a quick pit stop and then we're off to Museum Island. Made it to Museum Island. We made it to the old National Gallery. Maybe you should start over. 
number. Hold, please. We made it to the old National Gallery, which On is uh, behind us. Island. And we're gonna go look around. The museum closes at six, but it gets dark at like 3.45. So we yeah. figured we might as well use the daylight to see things and then go in the gallery. Old National Gallery is especially known for its large and impressive collection of 19th century European sculptures and paintings. Most of the museum interior has been renovated, except for some portions that were left untouched. We just finished at the Old Gallery. I was able to bring my camera in for some of it. First we went in, and yeah, we don't need a long drawn out story. Once we were upstairs, this lady, security guard, well, she was just like, No, you can't about have the it. Camera microphone. I was like, Oh, okay. I mean, I this mean, has happened like, a couple times. It's it. an impressive looking camera. Uh, they had had it like a vandalism like a year ago or something, and so uh, the security lady, she's asking was for more vandalism, probably a little paranoid, but I can understand it. I get it. Sylvie's so taking us to a Christmas market and we're running into another Christmas market. I get a market. bonus one. It's a Christmas market miracle. Psych! You have to buy a ticket to go to that one. And we have to buy a ticket to go to the other one. Okay, Shelby we do, so would rather go to the other one. So that's what we're gonna do. But at least we know if we get to that one and if it sucks, we could come back to this one. So a little update. The one that we went to, where we thought it was supposed to be, was closed for construction. And then we realized that this one is the one that usually takes place over there, but they're having it here because of the construction this year. So we still found it. But it's we're the same one. on a mission. It's very crowded. And you get to pay a euro a person to get in. We're on a mission because we have to find some stuff for Shelby's dad and uh, an ornament for us. So let's see if we can find anything in this mess of people. Got some mold wine. We're watching a man. It's too confused with him. Do you want to go look? Do you want to wear an ample man? I kind of love it. I don't wear beanies enough, but I actually think that's really cute. This wall is signed by David Hasselhoff. Part of the Berlin Wall. Are you sure it's part of the Berlin Wall? I mean, it might be a replica that definitely looks like the Berlin Wall to me. Okay. You ready? Ready to go. After My you. apartment. This apartment was so nice. Now we are on our way to find some gifts for people since we are heading out. To our next destination tomorrow tomorrow yes. so let us know what you guys uh, think we're where we're going ah. in the comments below Now that we are done with our shopping, we're gonna go hit up another museum because we learned something yesterday or the other day that I like art museums and Shelby likes history museums. I mean, it's not just completely one or the other. I realized that Matt gets a little bit more like inspired, I think, by art museums, especially staying in there for a long time where I kind of fizzle out after a little bit. It's like the opposite, I feel like, with history museums. Like, I get so excited and I like get fascinated over like the little details and the artifacts that they have. The Pergamon? Per Pergamon. 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 It was Pergamon. sort of close. And it has a lot of ancient Babylonian artifacts. We made a quick pit stop before the museum for some brats. 
<laughs> like burned I'm my tooth. Glad I got that on like, camera. I've never felt that feeling <laughs> in my tooth. <laughs> it was so hot. I have to wait. The fascinating memorial behind us around the people that lost their lives in World War One and Two, kind of just a commemorative space for. And also for like basically anyone who was yeah persecuted or. You just interrupted me. Oh, well, I thought you were done saying like it was just for these people. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was, I was gonna, gonna say for everybody. Sorry. You I dirty dog. Like every once in a while. After a little bit of a run around, we found the museum. You have to enter it through a different. Museum. We passed right by it, and you didn't we see did. the we sign. We did. We passed right by it, and there's a sign, and we totally missed it. So we got some extra steps. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to film on our camera, but we were able to see the reconstructions of the Ishtar Gate ordered by King Nebuchadnezzar in 575 BC. as well as the Market Gate of Miletus, built in the 2nd century AD. We also got to experience this fun cafe inside the museum with talking cat robot waitresses. <laughs> Hello, dear guests, your drinks are ready. Bye, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> We've finished our museum. That's what an ominous sounding it? crow. Uh, I liked it a lot. This was a history museum instead of an art museum. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of ancient Babylon stuff, which was cool. Uh, we learned a lot about how Babylon used to be and- Also a lot of like Islamic art and artifacts yeah. too, which is interesting. And what was the other one? Pretty like fascinating. It? Also this building is just, so cool. Yeah, Overall, a very cool experience. It's mostly just cool to see things that are so old. Like, it's kind of crazy when you look at something, even if it's just like a fragment of a pot or something. And, and But it says, you know, 8th century BC or something. Yeah. It's like, whoa, that's really old. So that was neat. And the way that they preserved and reconstructed a lot of those old like buildings. How do they even transport those here? That was so, like in those, just in little pieces, and then yeah, they have maybe. to like reconstruct it all. That was amazing. <sighs> 10 out of 10, you should go. Before hitting the road for our next destination, we decided to spend one night in outer space. That is, a space-themed capsule hotel. This was something we've never experienced before, so we're taking you along and giving our honest review of the entire experience. Check back in our next video for the full recap of our one night stay in the Berlin Space Capsule.